so far, levodopa uh, has been administered either orally, the, which is the case for more than 40 years, or uh, intradigunally uh, through a percutaneous gastrostomy uh, with a pump. Uh, Nowadays, uh, it, things are different, and for the first time, uh, we will be able to show results of a subcutaneous delivery uh, of levodopa uh, over 24 hours' time uh, with a formulation which includes uh, a pro drug of levodopa, pro levodopa and pro uh, fos levodopa and foscarbidopa, which are both pro drugs uh, and are quickly uh, dephosphorylated once they are injected subcutaneously. The main advantage of this formulation is that you can bring into a syringe up to four grams of levodopa, so essentially covering the entire spectrum of doses uh, possible in Parkinson's disease. Also, it allows uh, to provide the delivery uh, for 24 hours at the same infusion rate or with different infusion rates uh, according to the patient need, so it is, can be customized. And also, uh, the possibility to use uh, phospholipodopa and phospholipodopa has allowed uh, to have a formulation with a pH which minimizes the risk of skin uh, problems uh, over a long time, to the point uh, that in the study that we are presenting, the needle could be left in the same spot for up to three days. So in some patients, uh, there was no need to change the position of the in injection site uh, for up to 72 hours, which is a big advantage because then people really can forget uh, about uh, the medications. It replaces entirely uh, the oral uh, need of levodopa, and it is minimally invasive because it doesn't require a surgical procedure like the positioning of a peg. And the safety data show that there are uh, some patients who develop skin irritation but after two or three days, but that can be overcome by moving the injection site. The other important results are related to the fact that in these patients who were on multiple doses of levodopa, the continuous delivery over the 24 hours led to a significant reduction of the periods of poor mobility, what we call off time, and extension of the periods of good mobility without dyskinesias. And most importantly, early morning ichinesia and nighttime motor symptoms were also significantly improved. So it is the first time we are proving that uh, uh, in essentially any Parkinson patients with motor fluctuations, you could provide the levodopa continuously for 24 hours uh, with significant impact, uh, not only on daytime mobility, but also on nighttime mobility and early morning ichinesia.